hello viewers good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel you are highly welcome please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and the bell beside it so that whenever i upload new videos you will be notified thank you guys and stay on the video so guys there's this trending um videos that has been on about um queen naomi getting involved in a post to suleiman's matter please guys if you've not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button and the bell beside it so that whenever i upload new videos you will get notification thank you guys i'm back to the video so i came across an article that said that queen naomi got involved in a post to um, Suleiman's matter and what she said will amaze you guys like so i was like at first i said why will queen naomi get involved with this kind of scandal why would she put herself in that kind of position okay but it was said that she reached out to a post to Suleiman's wife that is dr lizzie johnson Suleiman. so which is the woman we are seeing beside Olori uh, Naomi in this picture. So she's, um, since she is in the line of um, church, I won't say church business because church is not a business. It depends on the angle people are, use, are, are, are using it now because church is supposed to be a charity work. But people, especially in Africa now, we are using it as a, a, a business. So since now Queen Naomi is in the, is in the area of um, charity like she has her own church she is a she is a prophetess so and um, i think she will be close to dr lizzie that is the wife of apostle johnson in one way or the other so it was um recorded that she reached out to the woman maybe as a friend or as a colleague to give her hope to you know to talk to her because it was recorded that Apostle to um, Suleiman's wife is so down because of the things that Alima Abubakar, one of the actress of Nollywood, said and revealed about Apostle to Suleiman. I know that the, the, the video is no longer um, a new thing to all of us, where Alima Abubakar said a lot of things. Okay, I cannot post the video here because of YouTube has this um street rules. You can't post videos here on our uh, between uh, it was tag copyright when I tried to play a little clip of that video. So, but you can I can I will tag a link at the end of this video so that you can go check the link of the video on either TikTok or, or Facebook. So um Alima Abubakar, one of the Nigerian actress. Came out to say a lot of things about um, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, and this is not the first time Apostle has uh, um, Apostle's name has been called in such scandal. But this one really hits this woman in a different way. We all remember a time where Apostle Johnson had a, an affair with one musician or something like that, one girl living abroad. So her name was Stephanie Otobo. So it was Stephanie Otobo came and apologized and said that she it was just um uh it's something to nail Apostle down and later she came out again and said that Apostle and his wife blackmailed and threatened her to say that that she said that she made that confession or she made she she, she laid that apology on that duress. So Olori Naomi now in her own case did not really get involved with the article I read. She did not really get involved in the scandal between Alima Abubakar and Apostle Johnson. She did not even say anything about that um, issue because that thing is so dirty to even talk about. She only reached out to a friend, a colleague, who, who is um, the wife of Apostle Suleiman, that she knows that this is a trying times for her, that she should just take things easy, which is something that a good person is going to do. If your friend is in distress or she's going through trials, I think the best thing to do is to reach out. We don't have to talk everything to be negative. Okay? Nobody in his or her right senses will support the action of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. I'm not saying that he, he did it. But he has been the only man of God that has been recorded in such, in such way. 
Like he's not the only man, he's, he's, he's not the only person that is an apostle or has a church, but he has always been in different sex scandals. And he's always in their scandals with actresses or people that are known, like people like celebrities. Let me use that word. Okay, so when one or two person accuses you of the same thing, we need to check it now. The Stephanie um, Otobo came. We thought, that, oh, this girl is a crazy girl. Maybe she just wanted to bring the image of Apostle down. One other actress came out and talked her own. We said that mm, all these people that want to use Apostle's name to trend. Um, Alima Abubakar is talking with evidence. Like, if you were, uh, I heard that the, that the matter is going to court. And she said that she, with her full chest that she is going to court. And I think that was the reason why the wife of the apostle came out on social media to talk. Because of the issue is going to court and it is bringing embarrassment in her own name too. So she has to come out to talk. And in what she said, she was defending her husband. Okay? A lot of people were like, eh, Madam, you're lying. You're just uh, defending your husband or, or maybe he asked you to do this. Maybe inside the house, this is not how it is. Or she knows the truth. She just wants to cover up for the husband. And other people were saying that, Madam, uh, God will help you. That uh, apostles, uh, people just want to bring apostles down. She said that her husband is a man that loves to help. Her husband is a man that loves to help people. And people are taking it for granted. Why is it only women that are always taking this thing for granted? Why is it only women that are taking this thing for granted? There was even a time a man came out and said that Apostle Johnson took his wife away from him. That Apostle Johnson Suleiman took his wife away from him and got her an apartment and made his wife to leave him. And that she, that she, he, he was a pastor under Apostle Johnson. And he claimed that he took his wife from him. So all these things are not something we have to look about. So although now we just reached out to a friend. That is all I can say in this video. Thank you guys for watching.